Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm certain we're going to play some more Stardew Valley. It look, oh, I'm black bears. Pretty sure I don't want black bears, but we could find them. Let's see what the wife's up to. When it's just around the corner, we need to double check the heating system, turn off the valves, and check all the insulation in the house. It's true, those are things you do need to do when you own a house, but I'm surprised she knows that. She lived in a shack. Don't worry, I'll take care of all of it. I'm very worried because I don't think she knows the first thing about that. But, you know, so it goes, well, I got 48 cubings. Ooh. Sir, what are you doing? Why are these things planted? We need to we need to get this all fixed up. This place is a mess. Cranberries, not for four days. At least it's uh What are we doing? Let's let's eat some nope. Let's eat some food. It just made me click it. I wasn't trying to. Like this. What are usual first day stuff? Let's check the computer. We have two thousand crops ready. Okay, well something is out there for us. Let's go see what those are. Whatever they are, we shouldn't have to water them. That bok choy is one day away. Okay. Pumpkin time it is. Or uh, eggplant time. I, I don't know why. Pumpkin was on the brain. Those artichokes, no. Amaranth. To deal with 2,000 plants running? I can't be right. Can't be right. Go ahead and uh, touch the animals. This one does. We have to come back. We have to uh, you know, take all the the goods. You know, once I start petting the animals, I feel like I really need to finish petting the animals. Amaranth. I don't think. Where did I get this? <laughs> What was I doing? I don't think there's a, a cooking recipe that uses amaranth. I'm probably wrong. Or do I think it's something that we can like pickle? I might be wrong about that too. Let's go ahead and in the fridge put our eggplants. We have some gold ones, but we have some not gold ones. Just in case we want to kick cook some parmesan or something with it. We can have the best of the best. Speaking of which. Got one very rose, honey. We need, uh, we need to mead this up. Let's uh, pick those. We will put that in there. I feel like I'm doing everything out of turn. Uh, we got some bok choy. That's nice. Go ahead. We'll pick all those. I'm assume slash hope that's what happens. All right, let's hit the shipping bin real quick. We have pickled bok choy. I love these little icons for the different things in them. They look so nice. It's nice and then way better than just having the generic. I'm gonna sell that because I don't care. It just makes them look so much nicer, I think. Let's see here, we'll go back down, check on the greenhouse. Double check that computer because I feel like I must have read it wrong. Really feel like I read it wrong. What you doing there, cat? Oh, there's about to be a cat problem. Hey, be nice, Deb. Be nice. Dova loves Khajiit, but she does not like it when he she, he climbs in the same seat in the cat tree. Hey, there you go. She doesn't look like she was about to bite him. And she quickly changed to licking his head. Which is what she usually does when she's around him. It's adorable, but there's no biting. Oh, lots of cat love going on over there. Of course, I don't have the cat came on. Uh, we'll grab these. She looks like she's still thinking about biting them, but I think she knows I'm watching. She normally just a potato juice, but she normally just uh really loves on them all day. She loves because she so much. It's really. Hard to describe, but we already took those. I've never seen one cat love another cat so much. In fact, I normally... Oh, that's right, I was going to put those in there. That's what I was doing. Normally, it's going to be opposite. And I, I, unless you get, like, a pair of cats together, they normally, like, from a litter. I feel like they normally don't usually get along that well. In my experiences, but... Uh, nope, not here. There we go. 
that's for the future. Oh yeah, I needed to get a milk so I can make rice pudding. I doubt we have time to do that. Any more of the machines probably sucked them all up. Alright, let's go visit the animal pins. What did I read on this computer? I messed something up. I misunderstood something. Oh, just total crops, not total crops, ready. 60. Crops ready, 60? Must be the Q beans then. Like I was like, hey, there's 2,600 crops ready? No, idiot. It's the next line. Unwatered crops, 48. It must be. Open tilled soil, 62. Must sell. Everything down there is a mess and I hate it. We might, we might move all that operation over. It's just, I don't think it's enough space. I, I think it would get us by, because it's only the eighth ring. I think we have plenty of time, but. Perhaps we should move it elsewhere. Fruity Tootie, nope, not me in there. It didn't say Fruity Tootie, but. In my head it did. That's the name of the animal now. A lizard was hatched. Shellbird. I, I don't know. I'm going to call him Shell. That's what came to my mind when I saw that name. Touch you. I said you to all the animals. We'll throw another one in there. It's, no, I don't know. Why not? I'd like more rabbits. The rabbits are breeding. Rabbits couldn't care less what I want. We can, and we should. I want to go visit Robin and get, I don't know, something built. Anything, really. We just need stuff. Probably another side that'll be perfectly honest. Just so we can have as much hay as possible. Look at all the goods in there. My heck. And there's just more to throw in. Oops, not those. We'll take those, though. You can have those. I don't want those. Let's see. 500 shipped. So 21 days. It was journey. Ugh. I don't know how to get this up. I feel like we could. Do I just have to like go throw money at the homeless guy? Like I We need an event scene where I'm got honor. I or choose the honorable thing. I'm pretty sure is how that works. What that would that be? I don't know. Let's not blow things up. All right, so focus absurdum. Focus. Let's go see how many things we need from town. Oh, we got that black toy or the uh, amaranth. Gotta replant. Uh, let's take these. Seeing the fertilizer, I want surprisingly. So we're gonna have to go buy some. And what fall produce might I want to plant? Go up there. Yams. Yams are a good option. I think we're going to need to move the Cubine operation over here. It just seems better to me. But we're going to need a lot more fertilizer for that. So. Should have probably just done that from the beginning. Let's go check on them, though. I think everything I need to do up here is done. I think. I don't know. This week's been a whirlwind for me. In a good way, but... Those are a going. Let's water what needs water. Because not everything's covered via sprinkler. Come up here, put this away. Yep, we're turning 
those into seeds, I suppose we might as well put those seeds away. All right, let's take what we need. Talk to Robin. I don't think I want any of those. That means you're a fool, aren't you? No, you're not. Exit. Oh, nice. Um, cool. Anyways, we're gonna want the clay, we're gonna want that. I think we want stone. Yeah, I think that's it, but let's take some wood, because I really can't be bothered to commit that to memory, apparently. Sell this stuff. So much stuff to sell. Not the coffee. Oof. That is looking pretty good. Okay, we'll stop at Pierre's, grab some, uh, Fertilizer. Or gets too late. And we'll get this Q thing set up. We need these Q beans. We need to be professional about it. I'm not feeling very professional about it. I think I actually made some real uh we got a radium for real sprinklers, so maybe that's an option. It may Monday, she should be here ready for us. Hi there. Okay, no one. That's what I thought. Paint buildings. need to do some community projects too. We certainly have stuff to do with it. I thought that was a slime. So I think we could comfortably get five there and that should be enough for whatever ventures we have. <laughs> that should definitely be enough to get us through winter, I would think. Hopefully I don't have to buy anything from Marnie. I know those are if I have to wait for her to be open. In fact, I'm going to check my insurance because as I can. We're here. That's incredibly disappointing. This is a pretty decent luck day. I don't know. I'm close to getting level 9 again. It's going to be, going to be a long time. Before we get some of these skills upgraded again. I want the uh, specials. Seed group. Uh, sure. Is it overkill? Yeah, probably. Do I care? Not in the slightest. I'm very rich. Feeling rich. I'm living rich. It's good. It's good life. I'll take those back. We can uh, these things away. And I don't think I need the bombs right now. I feel like. Dangerous things are going to happen. Nope, not fishing. How many of these can I make? Just the one, because you're currently... Did I not get that much iridium? Eyes. Out of coal? Oh, lord. Well, I'm glad I checked. It would have been incredibly devastating. I blame rock smasher things oh you know what that's it still pretty early let's go grab the things that only clint can break open because those have been a pain on my side i want them out of here it's not much but it's at all drink this coffee to get our speed back up Iron ore. All right, that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and process some geodes. Okay, that would have been great a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He's not really doing it for me. Clint. This is why I pay a machine to do it instead. These are things I need or want. I guess that's potentially worth selling. It's so much cheaper to pay him to crush those things. Um, still rich, don't care.
Should have checked that last trash can, but that's okay. So let's try this again. Bam. Let's uh sell those things. I don't want them. And let's see what we need to do to clear this down. Excuse me, my it's still a little dry. Still a little scratchy is a strong word. I don't know if I like, snored a lot last night. You know, you wake up and it just kind of feels scratchy, dry, or if I'm still slowly just getting over whatever I had. It's very possible. That's what it feels like. But for those curious, because lots of people ask, mention I haven't had time really to go through the comments. Um, but my new job's going well. I like it. It feels like I've been dropped in a bizarre world, I'm not gonna lie. Just everything about it is so different from what I'm used to. Which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, do not, do not think that's not the case, but, you know, everything is so different. Uh, even though it's still the same hospital I work at, it's a completely different charting system. The outpatient life is not like the inpatient life, which, once again, exactly, exactly what I wanted. Uh, you know, it's just a rather large adjustment, but everyone there is very kind. They seem very excited to have me there, and um, they all seem to like me very, very much, so... You know, I asked my boss yesterday, I said, I know it's only been like two days, but you know, I just want to be open about it, and if there's anything that you see me doing that you want me to do differently, or any advice, you know, whatever. Or anything that you like seeing me do that you want to keep me to keep up, you know, you know I'd rather nip any problems in the bud now. Basically told me I'm doing a phenomenal job and that she's very happy I'm there. Uh, which, you know, is what else could you want to hear? But no, I like it a lot, but I've been trying to, just because I'm throwing myself into a world where everything's so different, uh, I come home after work and I have a fair amount of time to, to do other things. I basically just try to exercise a little bit. And, uh... I we should pop those or not. Exercise a little bit and uh, try to decompress mentally just because I have a, uh, you know, so much going on in my brain that day. I don't want to kind of keep it swirling around and not give my time, my brain some downtime. And going back to work and trying to do it again. So once I, you know, a little more comfortable with what I'm doing, it won't be so bad in terms of coming home and, and just kind of turning my brain off, really. That's kind of what I'm doing, but... What I'm getting at is it should be easier for me to record videos or something like that because I'm literally just coming home, eating food, exercising a little, and just trying to let my brain go into like a almost like Windows standby mode. That's what it feels like. Just so I can st stay focused exactly on what I'm trying to do at work. Uh, you know what I didn't do? Let's grab the new seeds that should be done. And we're going to need... Scarecrow. Thinking about it, we could have made one down there, but that's okay. Scarecrow. Black. That's a concern. Um, yep, there's the beans. Day. We'll have to do more, I'm sure, but I want to make sure that I have enough for these. I'd be surprised if I replant some of these because of birds. You know how birds are. Or just this getting reclaimed by things too. So that probably wasn't really the wisest no decision. I'm trying to get, get off. There we go. Uh In terms of watering, how do I want to look at this here? We have more. I didn't need to. I need to get used to the fact that I don't need to come up here to do this. Just, we still just got the one. Still working on gold. Okay, that's. Yeah, that's not what I want you to do. That's not what I want you to do. Well, that's a lot of gold. I mean, we'll get through it eventually, but. Ugh. What I wanted. 
mean, if we have to manually come down here and, and do it, it's not that big of a deal. I'm more concerned about the scarecrows, to be perfectly honest. Or lack thereof. Yeah, well. Nothing's perfect. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, good luck. We'll see which one of you survived tomorrow. Probably not many. Uh, you know, we'll just, uh, we'll make things interesting. I've got a lot of things shoved in there. Okay, you apparently got processed at the wrong time. I'm not sure why that happened. I feel like I'm close to a spot where I could maybe try to get some of these things sorted out a little bit. Lord. Alright, and then we'll sell you. And just to be prudent, we'll do this. We'll uh, leave our tractor outside as pretty sure you should never do. I don't know much about any tractors, but I have a feeling they should never be just kind of left out like that. It's a little early, but with it. But yeah, for, for those curious, I haven't been able to respond to the con comments yet, but the job is going really well. I really like it. I'm, you know, it's, it's a job, but I'm very excited to have a job done. It's a way less stressful. I don't dread going in, uh, which is really nice. Everyone there seems really patient and friendly. Yeah, just no one dies there, which is great. I'm really tired of watching people die and suffer. Uh, you know, just those things, those things that keep you up at night. Or during the day because you work every night. I asked the spaceship. We need to make the spaceship. So yeah, it's going well. Let's get this going together. That's in fact this whole thing is kind of a mess there. The wife is missing again. We'll have to, you know, notify the authorities and track her down before she harms herself or somebody else. You never know. What can happen. You know, it's it's not out of a, a misintent. She's just, uh, you know, she's off off her meds. She doesn't mean it. Oh, there she is. She just. You know, she's staring, it's fine. View from this window is inspiring, don't you think? Uh, yeah, well, I think it's gonna be a spaceship. But don't you worry about that. Excellent, so for example, it's ready. I can do stuff. Those, we can make lucky lunches or something, can't we? We'll plant something, or I'm not really sure what our permanent plant there is gonna be. One week today, we're holding the Stardew Valley. Fair in town, oh yes. Think about our Grange display. Um, or whether or not I really care enough to go. So I'm not positive I do. What am I looking for here? I was just, oh uh, yeah, Star Wars seats. That's right. Oh boy, I knew I was coming there for something. See, my mind's still not quite right. I'm still not fully adjusted to, uh, to being awake on days every day. I was told by fellow co-workers who've gone through the, this similar experience, you know, give it time. It takes a month or two to really adjust and, and be emotionally prepared to be on days. Lots of VR already. Ooh, that meat. It seems to always select the meat first, and I kind of love that. The Warping Computer says, we have 82 crops ready. Some unwatered crops. I'm not worried too much about that. Let's go real quick to the cows, see if we can snag ourselves some milk for the rice pudding. And maybe some other milks. Excuse me. We have two. Ah, lovely. That's kind of absolutely perfect. I really didn't, you know, think we would. Not that we could have really gotten out there any faster, but she's going back. So if I remember correctly, we needed a rice pudding, so I think all we're really missing is just rice, which I guess I could have bought yesterday. Uh, that's the broth. Kind of want rice pudding though. We'll just make the one when everything's said and done. All right, fair enough. Um, let's, you know what, let's go visit the Q-Seeds first. Because whatever down here needs harvested, I won't harvest. Which hopefully will be a lot of this. I'm gonna kinda get this done. 
done and over with down here. Clean these scarecrows up. Also, be great. Because sprinklers. Uh. Okay, what about that guy? Is that guy watered? I don't think that guy got watered. Oops. Um. Yeah, he did. Okay. Can't forget about that one over there. I mean, I I will forget about the one over there, but you know. Ideally, we should we shouldn't forget about the one over there. I feel like we gotta be getting real close to having enough. I have to be like kind of overly paranoid, right? Yep, the crows got one. See what we can protect the next time. I suppose it's just how it goes, you know. Um, water, whatever might need water. And then hopefully we're gonna we're gonna be getting a fair amount of seeds here. Didn't really consider that. I think we got enough fertilizer. Whatever we harvest, once this is filled up, I think we'll start holding on to and see what happens. That's kind of my... Goal, I think that's right there. So let's, uh, warp out of here. Maybe go buy some more fertilizer? We're gonna have some more regular sprinklers. We don't need those right now. By regular sprinklers, I mean, of course, the iridium ones, the ones I actually want. For those curious about Kajin, how he's doing, he's doing quite well. So I kind of mentioned this before last time, I believe. He has found some um, some things he's really liked. He's doing he's doing really great taking his medicine, which was something he was never really great about before. But by surprise. Um, I don't know if it's just because he's like old now or what, but he doesn't care if it's is. The pills are mixed in my hand with the treats. He just eats it all. And if you think it might be one of the treats, he eats it. Even if it's not, even if there's no more treats left, he's just like, well, there was treats there. This could be one I'm gonna eat it anyways. Which is just absolutely wonderful. He wants to have to give like any animal meds. Some animals do great and it's such a blessing, and animals who don't, oh god. Um my other cat I could probably drop on the floor and be like, whoops, and should run over and eat it thinking it's food, just hoping that it's food. And he used to be really bad about it. This stuff never worked on him before. That's why I think it's just gotten older and it's gotten easier. I'm not eating this. It's ridiculous. So anyways, he's doing better. And now, because he's taking these meds, uh, as he should. Are you okay, dear? I just want to say that I appreciate all the hard work you do for our household. Oh, well, that's actually really sweet. Um, I feel like that's something I never actually heard when I was married. Ugh. Um, now, somebody wanted a rice pudding. I don't remember who or what. Lobster. Uh, what happened to the puffer fish? I had <laughs> for him. Did I not do that? Sashimi? Uh, I think it was the fish that wanted the rice pudding. Let's go check out the fish. What did I do with that damn puffer fish? I must put it away. Hopefully. Excuse me? Okay. Sir, here is your... You're out. Rice pudding. Ah, it really makes us feel like home. Take your word for it. Looks like we need some more of these guys going. So anyways, I don't know if it's the peps that I got him going on, which is, is making his stomach probably feel a lot better, because he, he was kind of the, uh, I like to vomit every day kind of cat. And, uh, you know, that's always, that's always fun and exciting. Um, but he's doing that a lot. Doing that a lot less, which is nice. Um, so I don't know if that's kind of improving his appetite. You're still working on it. Let's go harvest the other crops. Come on, I'm serving. One task at a time. Let's grab the yam seeds. Yam seeds are kind of a replacement catch all seeds. Or, uh, 
see what other medicine. His thyroid was too high, which can cause you to kind of stop eating, basically. Or have a lot of trouble gaining weight. Oops. Um, that was actually not ideal. Or, you know, who knows, right? Could be anything. I also have him on... Uh, there was there was a medicine they gave us for appetite that I had to rub in his ear, but I kind of stopped doing that because it seemed to actually really be bothering his ears, which was one of the side effects listed. Um, however, it's just like, uh, I don't know. Is it, he didn't seem bothered by it, but his ear was getting red and kind of dirty. I need to try to clean it and see if that will help. I don't know if it will help. Make sure these are all fertilized. But his appetite still has remained. Um, I've got him some new treats. I've got him some kind of dietary supplements. I mentioned before is a gel. He really seems to, every day he seems to like that gel more and more, which is really nice. Where's my seeds at? Oh, it's there. And I think that might have been it. So he really seems to dig that. Temptation Streets, both my cats, would kill a man, barehanded, no thoughts, no thoughts about it, no regrets, uh, for a small handful of those. I don't know, I don't know what they do to those things, but, good god, I've thought about before in the past, just feeding them those, just to try to get them, to gain them. I don't know if they're high calorie, they say they're not, because I think they're trying to market as a, like, uh, they won't make your cat fat, I'm like, I would really like them if they would. Go bingo. Great. And uh, just, they, they love them. They couldn't get enough. I think he would literally eat that until he vomited them all up. And then he would ask for more. Like, I don't know why. Not to, sorry if that's crude, but I just, yeah, they love those things. Just an endless love. I think it's the only thing they might truly, without a doubt, love more than me. Which I suppose is okay. So if it's that or what, but he does seem to be getting away. His coat is wonderful. I'll tell you that for sure. This isn't going to be as much as I was hoping it would be. Rats. Um, still a little bony. Places you can really feel spine, which is just, you know, it's it's very unfortunate, obviously. This thing's a mess. Um, let's see there. There. Try to make this it's not easy. I should have just. This has really turned out poorly. Uh, that has not, though, so we'll do that, I guess. Here. So. There. Just kind of perfect, actually. Okay, uh, tomorrow we'll see what needs watered. Maybe we'll just go from there. I had hopes of maybe going to the iron island. Guess we no big close. We need a good way to get there. I kind of want to go to the island and just see. Uh, um, I need to start getting things from that, uh, researcher guy. Researcher guy was this an ostrich incubator. I really want to get going on that. I guess in the winter we'll have a whole lot less to try to manage and do without these crops, but... Uh, speaking of island, we need to get a new challenge, too. So it's, it's a new week. In fact, there should be a billboard here for us, too. Anyway, sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. Kajit's doing well. He seems a lot happier. He seems a lot more active. Um, he follows me around a lot more. He's begging a lot more. He loves... I got him this cat stuff. Um, stuff called Cat Sip. On words, I think, for like cat nip, but it's basically milk. I'm pretty sure I talked about this before for cats. Um, he loves it, sits outside the fridge. Anytime I get into the fridge, he's there following me, trying to get into the fridge. Um, loves the stuff, so that's great. It's keeping him hydrated, gives him some extra calories, everything that I really, really want for him. Oh, yeah, we still have that book reading. Oops, crop order. The government is holding a banquet, chef's ordering a huge number of pumpkins. 
100 pumpkins by the end of the season. You just want me to ship them because I'm going to be doing that anyways. Excellent. So glad we came over for that, actually. Um, so that's my next thing. His coat's looking great. Feels really great. Feels so much thicker, so much softer. It's got a lot more of a, you know, he's a tabby, but he's got a lot of brown in him. It's got a lot more of that brownness to him. You know, I've noticed a lot more hair around the house, which is not great, but, you know, doesn't mean that he has it. I'll take it as a good sign. And um, my next hope is to really have them feel a lot less bone when you touch them. I feel like there's, there's still not a lot of meat on them. You can tell just by petting them. Um, you know, it's kind of disappointing to look back and think, wow, how did I not notice how bad it was? You know, it wasn't until my mom came over and was like, that skinny boy. I was like, yeah, he's real skinny. She's like, yeah, he's real skinny. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, and I already had an appointment for the vet to take him, but I was like, you know, he is real skinny. I know it happens slowly over time, and that's that's kind of how these things happen. But it's like, man. But yeah, get some more meat on him. Get a lot more muscle on them. Hope to get a lot more kind of. You can feel every vertebrae in his back. You know, it's just. I really hate to see it. But I got it in a couple weeks now. Two, three, three weeks, I think, still. We're taking him back to the vet. Just to kind of check up on his thyroid again. And hopefully, then. I mean, we're, we're going to definitely weigh him. But hopefully, when we weigh him, we'll see some massive gains, you know? bodybuilder type gains. I want them to, to be just over the moon and surprised. Listen, you've brought us a different cat. It's two pounds heavier, that's not possible. I feel like it is possible. You know, it's not realistic. That's not gonna happen, but honestly, if he's over six and a half, I'll be thrilled because that will be a 0.7 pound of weight gain, right? Um, which would be a lot for him. That would be well over 10%. If he gets 10%, I'll be happy. I'll be thrilled if he's over that. So we'll see. Like I said, regardless, you can tell he's feeling better. I still walk a little funny. I think his hip still bothers him a long time. It's either his hip or his knee, but years and years and years ago, probably like six years ago, I was at work and I was married at the time, so my wife calls me at like three in the morning. Something's wrong with the cat. Okay, and what's, what's wrong with the cat? I don't know, I was sleeping, you know, we had this weird head, like headboard, and he somehow f fell, got stuck in it or something, and jerked around, and now he's not walking right, it's basically all she can tell me. Okay, well, we'll watch him, see how he does, I'm not gonna come home from work at 2 in the morning over this, he's not, he's not dying. Try to let, make him lay down and take it easy, right? A couple days, we'll go by, he's not doing any better, it's the weekend, of course, so we have to go to emergency vet, which is expensive, they x-ray him, they're like, well, nothing seems wrong, but it could be anything. Okay, uh, great, I guess, thanks. Make an appointment with our vet, uh, get her in right away, and he's just like, yeah, you know, well, we're kind of a little anxious about it, and, you know, we're like, I don't know, he's he's a funny cat, he does these things, he throws up a lot, because he's always done that, you know, could be walking funny, don't know if it's some kind of, like, cat anxiety thing, there's something like that cat anxiety disorder that makes cats act funny, like, maybe it's just that, if there's something actually wrong, you know, the vet there, you know, we saw the emergency place, it wasn't very helpful, of course, you know, so it could be this, could be that, you know, of course, cancer always comes up, I don't want to not tell you anything, she's like, yeah, I don't know, it could be those things, but his knee's definitely out of place, <laughs> just immediately, like, <laughs> we love this vet, um, was immediately like, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, maybe he's got anxiety, but uh, his knees, his, his patella is just way up. I'm like, what? He's like, oh yeah, his kneecap is slid way out of place. It should, it should be like, you know, where he is, but she's like up in his thigh. She's like, they have floating kneecaps, you know, they're not like ours. They're not like really stitched in or wherever in place, right? She's like, nah, they should, they should really be from here, but you can kind of feel it. It's slid way up his thigh. Uh, so that's probably what really hurts him and, uh, you know, causing a lot of plain inflammation. <laughs> immediately diagnoses this cat upon seeing him, which is like, oh god, you're the best. She's like, yeah, here, I'll just push it back in, no big deal. <laughs> She's like, it'll probably still be sore for a while or whatever, but you know, hopefully it should get better. And it did get better, you know, he walks better, but he still has since then has kind of always walked a little funny. So I, I don't know if it's a mixture of that and some arthritis or, you know, who knows, maybe he did something stupid and knocked his tail back out of place. I, don't, I have no idea. It's like, how big is a kneecap on a cat? I'd like to tell myself I would notice and feel it, but really, he... 
So, anyways, I don't know if it's part of that. That's the whole long story, just to just to tell you. I don't know if that's what's wrong with my cat. But he still is walking a little funny. However, he is definitely walking a lot. Um, you know, a little bit of arthritis medicine with eating a lot better probably helps. Well, his joints and everything, too. Well, that gel paste has a lot of calories, has a lot of different fats and, and meats and vitamins in it. So that's probably helping restore cartilage and whatever in his knees, too. So uh, things are things are going well here. Just being kind of busy. It's a pathetic amount of money, but we uh, it's all right. We made up for it. Farm is looking that good. I want to thank everybody for coming by and listening to me ramble and, and catching up with how I've been. I hope you guys have been doing great. Really, it means a lot that you guys come by every day when there's when there's an episode every day to to watch the series and uh, tell me how you are. Tell me how things are to. To ask about the cats, ask how I am. It really does mean a lot to you. So thank you guys so much for coming by. It really means everything to me. Uh, hopefully I'll have a couple more of these recorded for today. So we'll get some more out. And we'll have plenty to watch before the weekend. And I'll definitely have time over. Actually have a busy weekend planned. Uh, but I should still have plenty of time to get some more things recorded. And I'll find a schedule that works for me. My ultimate goal is to have. Still have episodes out every day. Even with this new job. And still have actually both series out every day. This is really what I want to do. And uh, from there, maybe have a day or two of streaming on the weekend, maybe a couple hours. I'm still not sure how exactly I want to do that. Uh, but once everything kind of shakes down and settles down, you know, everything will be a lot more clear, really. So once again, I want to thank everyone for coming by. Hope you guys are doing well. I've really missed you. Can't wait to hear from you. Can't wait to see you again. Take care.